And we're back. Woo. Uh, ah. 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 Thanks for sticking around, guys. I ate an ice cream sandwich. Yeah, I see nice. that. Uh, we are back with episode two of the first night of a or the Hollow Throne. I can't say my own game name. Uh, the next campaign that's taking place in the same world as Blades and Pepper Shakers. So, yes, welcome and back. that one one-off, right? Yeah, Pepper Shaker verse. Yes, <laughs> which yeah. I don't remember what it was called, but it was very fun. Uh, with quarter pounder and everybody else, right? I forget, I don't even remember what I named that, but yeah, the one off for you guys. There's that a lot was, I don't remember about that. That was a fantastic yeah. one off. It was great. Absolutely. Eddie and I made it, it out. Brutally, we made it out. Ridiculous. Ice cream sandwiches are amazing. Right. You they should are. go get some. That was a really fun night. I, I enjoyed that one off too. Yeah. Also, real quick, we should take a moment out to uh, wish Dan there a happy 21st oh, birthday. No. Oh, yeah. You guys caught me. I've been drinking their age the whole time. Oh, no. <laughs> happy birthday, you fuck. Happy birthday, Dan. Happy birthday, Dan. Thank you. Enjoy your cheers glass of beverage. Cheers. Go in cheers. Theremin's blazing. <laughs> All right. Um, so That's last right. Spooky session. music galore. It's like fucking Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm going to have to trade trade my musical instruments around after this. Mm-hmm. Yep. To, to non standard D D instruments. No, I'm you telling just you, take a hurdy gurdy. The invisible theremin. The invisible uh, I can have so three of them. Just walking around constantly doing this. Air theremin. People are like, what is wrong with your friend? <laughs> you guys are tripping me out because I think you're saying my name whenever you say the name. <laughs> <laughs> theremin. I mean, that's fair. Like, it's so close. It's so yeah, fucking it close. Theron's theremin. God, yeah, it's theremin. Those are the weird, like, Doctor Who sound. Fucking yeah, the ones that you don't tenants. touch. It's just the interruption of your body, your body interrupting the <laughs> and the feedback from that is what causes it to make different noises. Right. Anyways, it's like the or that one that fucking thing. weird thing where you squeeze the mouth to open oh, it. Yeah. And it... <laughs> that weird like Japanese. Oh, um, uh, no, it's it's not just a Japanese thing. There's womp, other womp, 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 womp. the the womp. vocal thing. I thought it was Japanese. I don't know. Anyways, back to your D and D, the game that we're playing tonight. Oh oh, man, it's like bagpipes. Yes. Yeah. Joe. Joe. The game we're playing. Combat. We're about to die. Maybe. Ah. Yeah. So we left off. You guys took a quest to escort a ox cart full of a bunch of mysterious barrels of questionable things that you're being paid 400 gold a piece not to talk about. Um, and then we attacked and Batman. Batman. Full of questionable things. <laughs> yeah, right. and then we got jumped by Batman. And then you found a, an abandoned village on your second day of travel towards the end of it, uh, full of these weird fleshy bats inside of the tavern. Is that it was full of fleshy out. bats? We've only seen one. Uh, you Thanks, heard Joe. multiple <laughs> things moving around, and you're assuming... That's in your this... belfry? Call the yeah. Joker. Well... One attacked, and you've seen a few others now that combat's breaking out. But eh. oh, talk box. I think you're looking right. for talk box. It took me a second to get there. Your mom talk was box. a talk box. I don't know. That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> so I'll have a talk box, a hurdy gurdy, and a theremin. On All tonight's right. session, I don't know Chuck what you mean, but that cut insult. deep. <laughs> She's a uh, piece of electronic that you insert in the back of a stuffed animal that. Makes your stuffed animal say things like "I love you" and "Please don't throw me away" and "Not for resale." Right. Kill your parents. That's weird. That's the same sort of stuff. A lot of Jake. It's your turn. All right. Well, uh, first of all, as a free action, action I'm going to say "Good you," and then I'm going to make a <laughs> an attack. All right. <laughs> Swing uh, wildly at it with my great sword, yeah. and I get a plus four to it because of uh, because of that guidance. Right. No, oh, a yeah. D4. Plus D4. Right? Add a D4, yeah. Add All a right. D4. Yeah. So I'm just going to roll this uh, out as a weapon, and I don't think I need the D4 at that point. But Nope. nope. <laughs> oh, my is it goodness. just to hit, or is it to hit and damage? That's uh, just, just to hit. Just D20 to hit. roll. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> roll right. D20 for damage. Not, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would certainly like to. Mm-hmm. Plus five. Uh, nice. It's going to be 15 on that sucker. All right. Uh, is it yeah. still up? 
It is still up, but you deal a solid chunk of damage to it. It is. Well, I'm uh, doing a second attack to it then. Oh my. Yeah, it's bloodied already. Oh my, oh my. Does a 15 15? hit? 15 hits. Oh, hell yeah. So, real quick before you get your damage out there, Jake. Uh, we're using roll 20 for these character sheets. Uh, up top, uh, along the top of your character sheet, above the personality traits, where it says core bio spells, and there's a little cog there. Mm-hmm. If you click on that cog, kind of directly underneath of that, there's a thing that says auto damage roll. By default, it says don't auto roll damage. You can change that to auto damage roll and crits. That way, oh, when you, you hit always, your attack you button, off. Oh, sorry. Uh, that way, when there you hit is. your attack button, it includes the damage. You can also yeah. turn off always roll advantage as well. Yes, you can also turn off always roll advantage. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that because yeah. that's it's kind of confusing to be honest. Right. Never roll advantage. There we are. Go back to core. Now let's test out the the damage roll here. Bing bang boom. Eh. All right. Eleven damage. Eleven. This thing is looking badly hurt. Curses. It's still up. Or is it badly hurt? Badly ah! hurt. Ah. <laughs> Got him. Um. After that, it is Dan. You see one of these fleshy bat-looking things on the ground, pretty beat up next to Jake, but they're not very tall, so they're probably about like waist height. So Those are a big them. bat, that fucking kind of fleshy thing. They're it's a large bat thing. It's yeah, they're the bat size of shaped. Your husky standing I, I in don't want to. Ha- I don't have a great deal of desire to enter the room, though. Uh, so I'm just gonna firebolt it. Okay. Uh, fire it off. Brendan, you should be ashamed of that pun. That hits and deals enough damage to kill it. You Ooh. sink that firebolt right into its side and it lets out a shriek and crumples. We may be eating meat for dinner, fellas. Hooked. Hey, this we is want a properly this cooked meat. bat, unlike <laughs> the other ones. Mm-hmm. So, now, for shriek. these bat things, you gotta boil them. <laughs> <laughs> get all the get all the plague out of them. That's right. right. Yeah. So. If only Possum Tom was still alive, he'd yeah, know what to do. <laughs> Unless yes. you're Ozzy Osbourne, then you have a blood immunity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Or just so much shit in your blood that you're immune. Yeah, dude, he's pickled. Right. <laughs> you that, put enough dead. cocaine and heroin in any creature, they become immune to a lot of stuff. <laughs> It's like Keith Richards could survive yeah. a nuclear blast. He could. Yeah. He would well, absorb it and become cocaine. more powerful. Yeah, Indiana <laughs> Jones could just crawl right just inside of him and in survive a nuclear bomb. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, next bat tax. Another one drops down from the ceiling, landing on Eddie. Oh, no. <laughs> this is just like Zola oh, 2. Oh, shit, there's oh, more. There is a few more. At least they're not those... It's time to burn this motherfucker down, guys. It's the only answer. And it deals. Actually, we'll see if it hits first. What's your AC, Eddie? Uh, 18. That's you got the good armor. That's some spicy (laughs) AC. Good armor. And a shield. It rolls well enough to land a hit. Oh shit! I'm glad I didn't go in. (laughs) This is why you don't go in. Deals nine damage as one of its claws scrapes along you as it falls from the ceiling and lands at your feet. Oh, well, now I remember why I don't play spellcasters. <laughs> I just looked at my AC for the first time and it's trash. Yeah. <laughs> then um, another bat drops down from the ceiling on top of Chuck. Hey. What's your AC, Chuck? Uh, 17. Gosh, pick up skin. Uh, it hits because it rolled a natural nineteen. Oof. Healing. Nine damage as well. The talon catches you on the side as it falls. That asshole. Then flesh bat number three drops from the ceiling right by the door and lashes out at. 
Uh, probably Dan's a little bit closer. Oh, no, I should have stayed at the door to hopefully not get attacked. You did stay at the door, but you had to peek in a little bit to get that firebolt off. I know, I know. So, it drops down. My, my AC is so bad. Um, What's your AC? 14. It rolled a 13, so it hits. Ah, <laughs> yes! Take that. No, it hits. It rolled a natural oh. 13, I meant. Sorry. Oh, well, damn it. <laughs> yeah, you got me you. all excited for nothing. I'm sorry. Uh, but only deals seven damage. All right. Only seven. My night's only ruined seven. now, just so you know. That's I'm okay. I'm thinking we might have fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're fine. We'll be I fine. haven't gotten we to go We just got to get our turns in. Right. Yeah, we just need to get our turns in. You did solid damage there, and now we yeah. just have to all get the yeah, You guys our killed turns. one killed before half one. the party's gone. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Eddie, it's your turn. Yes. Great. Flush uh, that on you and Chuck and Dan back at the door. Flashy bat. It's a flashy, flashy bat. And I'll say it's more like flesh shaped to resemble a bat than it is a bat. Oh. Like How many somebody, of these assholes are there? took some fleshy Three clay and made Three? a bat, but had yeah. bad imagination. Some fleshy parts and made them into a bat. Yeah. All right. Um, so first things first, I'm going to cast at first level uh, Inflict Wounds on the bat, since it's right on top of me anyway. Okay. Uh, All right. So that's going to be... All right. Does a 23 hit? It does. Hell yeah. Uh, and that's going to be three. Friendin, I just saw that Keith Rickard, Richards joke. That's hilarious. 22 necrotic damage. Damn. All right. Dang. What did you use? Uh, inflict wounds. Oh, okay. Just first level, but... I did did better than average on three D ten, so that's good. It seems to not take as much damage from that as you expected. Fucking piece of shit. Uh, alrighty. Um, as a uh, bonus action, I'm gonna go ahead and cast spiritual weapon. Okay. Whoops. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, Inflict wounds. There we go. Uh, spiritual weapon. All righty. With that, uh, so I can, excuse me. When I cast a spell, I can make a melee spell attack against a creature within five feet of the weapon. Okay, so d20 plus. Does a 21 hit, I assume? Uh, it does. Okay, and that is going to be D8 plus my modifier. There is 10 force damage. Okay, that seems to hit just fine. All right, uh, anything else in your turn? Uh, you said it's right on top of me? Yeah, it's like to the ground well, or anything. Or it... it uh basically dropped from the ceiling in front of you and oh, slashed and kind of slashed as me it... as it came down. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to stay put. I guess I can't really do too much else. Okay. Uh, from there it moves to Chuck. One of these. So you said there's one of these assholes right on me, right? Yeah, there's one right on you, there's one right on Eddie, and one right on Dan. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is the asshole that's right on me, I'm going to smash it in the face with my flail. Okay. Fuck. That 15 hits. to hit, 11 damage. All right. Bonk the shit out of it. It's Bonk. bonked. Uh, then I'm going to use Channel Divinity, okay. and I'm going to deal an additional 17 points of uh, 17 points of necrotic damage to it. Okay, mind you, it is not resistant to necrotic when I deal it. Okay, 
Oh, noted. that's right, because you got the super special necrotic. I thing. do. It is. How's it doing with that hit? Hey, what? It's bloodied. Yep. So Excellent. then, with my bonus action, I'm going to cast spiritual weapon, uh, and I'm going to send it over to attack the one that's attacking the bard. Okay. Uh, you do so. So that is going to be right there. Uh, that is going to be a 24 to hit uh, and deal it's... 10 force damage. Okay. Damn. And then that is my turn. With that, loops back around to Theron. All right. There's a flesh bat in front of Dan, who's in front of you. Murder it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that exact same one that's attacking Dan. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use acid arrow on it. All right. Bear with me here. Roll that hit. I believe that's a hit, not a save, right? Yes. Yep. Yikes. Earn some luck. That does oh, not wrong hit. game. <laughs> wrong game. Yeah, that does not hit, unfortunately. Uh, anything else you're doing on your turn? Yep. Was uh, that a, a yes? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. the end of my turn. Okay. There we go. Uh, from there, it moves on to Jake. Uh, since I see people attempting to assist our bird, I'm going to go over uh, to Mr. Fenry and try to help with the one that's on him. Okay. Swing at it. Great sward. Cool. Oof, that's a miss. Big or no, or wait, 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 wait. Um, precision attack. When I make a weapon attack roll against a creature, I can expend one superiority die to add it to the roll. So I'm going to roll oh. a d8. Nice. Oh, that's a 12. <laughs> it's not hit, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> How many attacks per turn do you have, Jake? Two. So I'm going to try okay. and attack it again. <laughs> attack number two. Here we go. Hey, there we, we go. go. And 17 and, uh, damage. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> that is a solid amount. And this was the one on Eddie. Thank you. Yep. yep. Norman. All You're right. welcome, Theron. It oh, is no. very. Shane just brought up. me a huge thing of homemade popcorn. Do I, I get guess. one? How far away is this creature Feed from us. the one that's by Chuck? Email me the popcorn. Uh, pretty close. It's probably within <laughs> seven, like five feet. I'd say five feet because both. Okay, Eddie so and... would I be able to stand in between them so that they're both within five feet of oh, me? Oh God, it's good. Fuck. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, you'd be able okay. to. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to position myself thusly. Then Thank I'm going to take you, my action surge to get another action. Then okay. I'm going to attack the one by Eddie again. Okay. Roll that to hit. Really fucking good. Uh, 15 to hit, 8 damage. That hits. And this is the one by Eddie? Yep. Kills it. Excellent. So we... In that case, I'm what? using my second attack for this action to attack the one by Chuck. All right. Uh, 26 to hit. And I'm going to try to make this a uh, trip attack. Uh, when I hit a creature with a weapon attack, I can expend a superiority die to attempt to knock it down. So it's got to make a strength saving throw of 16 or else it gets knocked prone. Hey, Litching Hour. Thanks for coming by. It, it hey. is knocked prone. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. So it is looking very fucked up. All right. And that's my turn. Okay. Awesome. Uh, from there, it moves to Dan. There are two still standing, one right in front of you that is not very hurt yet, and then one in front of Chuck that is um, like near death. Well, the one in front of me is hopefully about to be very hurt. We'll so see. you killed the one by Eddie? Did I catch that right? Yeah, he yeah the one by me went it. down. And then you took a little chunk of damage out of yours as well, Chuck. Oh, yeah. fantastic. I was and going to uh, green, green Flame Blade it. Okay. 
so I'll go ahead and do the attack first, and we'll do see so. how, how that goes. Ooh, that 14 or 15 hits. Okay, so I'm going to roll my green flame blade, and I'm also going to add psychic blade to it as well. Okay. Which is using my uh, bardic inspiration. Which adds uh, 15 more damage to that four. 15, <laughs> so 19 oh, to total that four. damage. Okay. Um, what, uh, the the, what damage comes the off D6s flame? are psychic damage, uh, if it matters. Okay. No two. There's some there's some fire damage that comes off of that to a secondary target, right, Dan? Uh, if it's close enough. Mm -hmm. They're like seven feet apart. Uh, uh, I think they have to be within five. Well, this one's I think not. They have to be within five. This, this one's, one's at not. the yeah. door. Yeah, this one's at yeah. the door. You guys had all kind of walked in further, and this one was by the door. Right. Yeah. The, so the second target apart. has to okay. be five feet. So yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Not close enough. Yeah. Damn. Unfortunately. Uh, doing anything else in your turn? Uh, that's going to be it for me. So. Okay. Uh, flesh bat dead. Flesh bat dead. Last two will. Uh, the one on Chuck is going to lash out, swipe it's twice. It's prone, though, right? That Actually, yeah, asshole. it'll have to spend half of its movement to stand, and then stands in place and swipes out twice. And misses both times. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, yeah, one knocked by on Dan. his ass, threw him off a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. I rolled the highest of these four rolls that I just did was a five. So, oops. <laughs> and we thought roll 20 was bad. Yeah. No, it's just us. We're bad. <laughs> right. It's so us. So, they uh, wow. do nothing on their turn. And take that, you. Um, actually, the one on Dan that missed twice is going to try and run over to the other one that's being injured on the cramp. So, oh, it's going so to, to uh, move away from you, and you do get an attack of opportunity. All right. I'm going to try to stab him. Uh, but probably not succeed. You do not hit. And it makes it away and runs over Dang. and is standing next to uh, the other one. So they're both right next to each other uh, around Chuck, Eddie, and Jake. Uh, it is Eddie's turn. Yay, it's my turn. Alrighty, uh, let's see here. What do I want to do? So they're both by Chuck now? Uh, they're both like, you guys are all kind of right next to each other. Chuck, Eddie, right. Jake. Um, and the two bats. Let's go. So the one that was attacking Dan is less hurt than the other one. The other one's pretty badly hurt, right? The one that right. stood back up. All right, so first things first, I'll use my bonus action to uh, move my spiritual weapon over to it and make that attack. Okay. Which is going to be... Oh, that's terrible. 11 is probably not going to hit, is it? Does not. Okay. All right, so that was a waste. It misses. Um, let's see, what do I want to do here? Well, that one's probably going to go down as soon as Chuck comes up on deck, so... They're both bloodied. Yeah, but one of them I, I thought was a lot worse. Yeah, off one of them looks there. like it's right next to being dead. The other one yeah. still got some fight in it. So I'm going to go after the one that came off of Dan, the one that's still got a little bit of life in him. Um, and I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. First level. That's a good spell.
Ooh, nat 20. Oh, baby. Yeah. All right. Nice. <laughs> so I Max hold up uh, I hold up my hand. Hold up my hand and uh you know, kind of make a make a little bit of a gesture with my hand and say the word uh Leipzig and send that fiery guiding bolt of light straight at it. That's 18 uh, plus 3d6. That is max damage. Let's see. No, 4d6 is... Oh, is it 4d6? 24. It's 4d6 at first level, so it's 24. Oh, yeah, I got that, yeah. Dead. So let's see. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need to roll. Uh, yeah, 4d6. I just want to see what it comes out to. Sure. Uh, yeah, you. Uh, so, is this like a radiant energy? Jesus bolt thing? Christ! Uh, let's yeah. see. A flash of light streaks. <laughs> Target takes forty six radiant damage. Yeah, so it's okay. all radiant. So almost forty radiant. So if you and hold then, out uh, your hand. This bolt <laughs> comes out and just yeah, it's a torso god is not comes out of your hand and bitch slaps it. <laughs> <laughs> it's you basically just. Damn. <laughs> Singed its torso, its arms and head just fall by its feet and is dead on the nice. ground. Yeah, I was going to cast that because I was thinking like, well, depending how much life he's got in it, we'll have advantage against him on the next roll. There is no next roll. Right. No, not when you do that that much damage. Anything on how do you get, your turn other than that? How do you get a level? plus 24 on it? Because it was max critical damage hit. plus roll. Oh, critical I, I rolled hit. a nat Sorry. 20. Yeah. Who's next? Yeah. So the 20... 24 is max damage. Uh, and I that's your max. I was just curious. Sorry, I, I was me? all up in the chat yeah. for a moment there. So, uh, first thing I'm going <laughs> to do is I'm going to bring my spiritual weapon over. There's just one left, right? Yep. Yep. I'm and going to spiritual weapon off. that asshole that's right there. Okay. Uh, and that is going to be hurry up, roll. 24 to hit, eight damage. Dead. Kick ass. Damn. We did it, boys. They are How all many? Dead. How many of these dead ones are there? Four. Four. Four? Four? Oh, my. Uh, listen, listen, guys. I definitely want dibs on these corpses. On the bones? So <laughs> they appear to be, gonna be a lot of amalgamations of other corpses. I'm cool with that. They're so like, they're like double comrades. Right. So they're, they're just I say the fleshy materials. bats, but a few of them have like the heads of like a fox or a dog. Mixed with like other weird. That's cool. Yeah, they're they're all sorts of different body parts from all sorts of different animals. Yeah, kind of that's fine. To make Dibs on all the bones. Are they <laughs> physically stitched, <laughs> like with thread, or is it like um, magically adhered? Magically adhered. So okay, they're cool. kind of falling apart after they died. Uh, yeah, I will take my four corpses and set them out right outside the door, so I can collect them later, and then I'll go back to the bar looking for booze. Yeah, cool. I'm going straight. Yeah. Back I mean, what we years. originally came here for, let's be serious. Yeah, I mean, I'm just snapping away my spiritual weapon and going to look for booze. Right. Uh, I'm going to keep mine out as long as uh, the it's only good for like a minute. You might as yeah, well leave it out minute. while it lasts. Yeah, right. I guess that's true. Let's go behind the, I'm going uh, to pull out a small notepad and then scribble down, figure out how to make dope uh, corpse amalgamations. <laughs> Uh, hey there, Taboo. I, I'll I mean, let you yeah. have two of these corpses if you want. I mean, I'm not going to say no. Yeah, my plan is to just use my fucking uh, fire and light cantrips just to singe and burn all the flesh away. And then just use my animate dead to make like a giant spider skeleton creature to follow me around. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. We're not going to be accepted in any city. That has Listen, once we get like, to civilization, cares? I'll let it go. Like, you're free. <laughs> Turn to <laughs> no, on the countryside. I, I don't think that's better. <laughs> no, that might be worse. Yeah, it I'm is. picturing like that. As soon as we get to civilization, I'm letting four of them loose into the population. Yeah. Only one. Only one. Didn't, you're our like, previous, you're, didn't our previous you're, party kill a fucking badger guy because of that? <laughs> Yeah, kind of. I mean, basically, yeah. Yes, yeah. Chuck, you're like you're Conrad Nine, and it's like we are Legion. You're like, no, you're Conrad Nine. <laughs> All right, go we out there, just do your Conrad thing. Conrad Nine, we're a moral we anomaly. Are Conrad Nine. <laughs> yeah, do I find booze? You do. You find eight bottles of ale. Yes. <gasps> uh, there's Habsies. five of I'll us, right? With you on it. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, 
yeah. Uh, your one and I go halvesies. Uh, I'd be well, willing I'll, to split. Uh, I'll stash two in my in like my back my pack. Listen and turn to everybody and go. I found two bottles of booze. Listen, you guys are I, all letting me down. No, I listen, we were friends. Listen, I'm going to keep two as a finder's fee. I'm going to yeah. give Yorman two as a cleric's be an awesome fee. And then I'll give <laughs> each of the rest of you one bottle of booze. Hey, there you go. That sounds like a decent deal. Hey, I play better when I'm drunk. Mm -hmm. So, so we already found a you got a of bottle of booze early. to help you on the way. Right? I know. I'm, I'm trying to advocate for more. <laughs> Fine. I'll toss him another bottle of booze. <laughs> sure. All right. You distribute the booze amongst yourselves. And you That's... said there's an upstairs? Yes, and then there's an upstairs. Oh, yeah, we're looking upstairs. Yeah, Volo's I mean, going upstairs with his glowing sword ready to get I gotta his make sure kicked. my character keeps up with me, so. You don't hear any yeah. noise or shuffling as you're walking about, and you see a long hallway with doors on either side. It appears to be the rooms where people would be staying. I go kick each door open. I, I, I was going to say, I'll start playing my... my uh, oh, God, my hurdy-gurdy. Sneak, sneak music. <laughs> mm -hmm. My hurdy-gurdy. E1, M1, hurdy -gurdy. I'm just gonna start shouting it out yeah. there. I uh sneak it down the hallway. No. So. <laughs> yeah, kick each door open. Pretty much I'm just looking for shit to steal. Okay. Uh you kick them all open, and they all seem to be really plain rooms that just are beds and sheets. Just kind of well, empty rooms. And we got a place to stay in. for the night at least. That's exactly what I was thinking. How many rooms are there? Uh eight, four on each side. Yeah, we got a place to crash for the night. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. We can put uh, Conrad downstairs as the bartender. Yeah. Yeah, we could. <laughs> yeah. He uh, lasts longer so than Unseen Servant. So Great listener. Here, doesn't talk too much. Here's my plan. We go through and we light every other building in town on fire. Uh, and Jesus then we Christ. barricade the door. There's the Morthos I know. <laughs> yes. we barricade the door into this place we set conrad to guard it and then we can get a nice you know warm and toasty night's rest i think the question it's is how close the other buildings are to us i mean maybe they're we need to start the out. outskirts of town they're, they're all pretty spread out yeah well there you go they're all just kind of dotted through wind. the hills in town does is the uh, bar on? have like a stable attached to it it does what does the bar have like a stable attached to it? Because we got a wagon and, and some animals to take uh, care of. Not. There's a few posts where you would assume people would be able to like tie their um, things to, but there's yeah. not like a full on roofed stable. So my thought on this, I think the wagon will be okay. Items seem to be unperturbed in this town. Like the the buildings aren't damaged, right? Oh, I'm not worried about theft. I'm um, mostly just the worried about them getting burned. Through, you haven't really seen any signs <laughs> it, of damage, but you the haven't. the burn everything down was pretty tongue in cheek. Mm. Uh, so yeah, oh, here's my I, thought: I mean, we bring for it. we bring the oxen and the horses into the first floor of the tavern. Okay. We use those tables to hammer shut and barricade the door, and we just leave the wagon outside for the night. Okay. That's my plan, yeah. Easily <laughs> Solid doable. plan. All right. And it's getting pretty late by the time you're able to pull this off. Uh, I will need to spend an hour or two uh, with my two corpses kind of laid outside and then just using all of my fire cantrips mm -hmm. to burn all of the flesh off of these two creatures that I have. All right. Okay. Volo's going to spend time making sure each of the buildings are unoccupied. Okay. Uh, you're going to go through and uh, I guess... Knock well, on the doors, basically. Right. Okay. Um, I'll do check first. Uh, as you're getting these corpses prepared and things, Gretch is getting his, um, his wagon pulled up and trying to leave the oxen inside. He's like, it's kind of Poor taste in a town or an entire country ravaged by necromancers at the moment, but I suppose I don't mind. Listen, 
you didn't pay us for good taste. You paid us to escort you well, uh, to another town safely. Hey, you said no questions. We say no questions. It, <laughs> Listen. Yeah, I would just add that touché, in a touché. countryside that's overrun with uh, with things that want to kill us, it might not be the worst idea to bolster our numbers. I say when in Rome, do as the Romans do. All of those things are correct. Yeah. And then after I finish, you know, we all getting, give him a talking at. <laughs> yeah. After I finish getting the meat off of this thing, I'm going right. to organize the bones into like a like skeleton spider kind of creature okay. and cast animate dead on it. I'm still just going to use the base stats for a skeleton. I want it to be like but, sure. um, from the, the thing. When sure. The yeah. Comes off and it's all like, ah. Absolutely. Yeah. This thing is terrifying looking. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is um, this is Conrad Nine. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> uh, so, all I can imagine is a way more fucked up version of the robots from The Incredibles. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's not horrible either. I think I like Dan's thing, the thing description. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but then also after I cast Animate Dead, I'm going to cast Animate Dead again to keep my control over Conrad. Yep. You do so. Good idea. Uh, I'm picturing the spiders like all the rib cages are the the middle section, and there's just strings of the heads. Leg bones. Heads and ribs are the middle section. Okay. The spell <laughs> specifically dictates a pile of bones. Right. It does not say a complete skeleton. Sure. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, so they I can was be just saying the way that I pictured it was like the back large bit was just kind of like a wireframe of the leg bones. It might be. Yeah. The, the very leg bones back the end. Legs. Yeah. And then Chuck, all the rib cages are the, kind of in the center. And then both heads that were mostly intact kind yes. of make this one spider I, head. The I, center mass. Super, I want it to. All right, Joe, I, I'm going to send you a thing. Okay. In the, the chat. The center mass should Discord. be the rib cages. But the skulls should just be loose inside the rib cages. So when it moves around, those skulls just rattle around. I like Joe's mouth. idea of having the mouth be the two skulls. Uh, oh, that's creepy. God, what, and that's uh, going to be its its main attack is going to be. You know what? No, I am going to give just, it one arm. Just look at this coming thing. off of its back and going up and over. That way, I can give it. <laughs> oh a, yes, a club. I like that, Dan. Mm, yes. I mean, I don't, but I do. I mean, it's horrible <laughs> and it's great. Uh, I'll put it in the chat so everyone else can appreciate uh, what I want it to be. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so creepy. Yeah. And then the thing is amazing. So I'll go back to uh, Jake. It's a third year. Nope. Going through. <laughs> knocking on doors saying, going, This is right. Follow the Swordsman. We are here to rescue you. If you are alive, please say so, or we will burn down your house. <laughs> <laughs> I will accompany him and strum some music. Uh, you don't really find anyone. All the Burning nicer houses, the house. you see that the doors are... Or basically any house that is nice enough to have a lock is locked. And then all the other ones are just oh, kind of... Oh, I can open, open locked doors if that's what we right. want. But they're all... It's kind of the same as the shop. They can easily just be kicked in. They're not really like heavily reinforced. I mean, if it's nice enough to be locked, it might be nice enough to be looted. Just saying. Sure, but most of them that you're looking into this is a, a nice door. I'm yeah. taking it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't kick in that door. I want it. I'm taking its contents. <laughs> Give me the floorboards. Pile them up. Give me the floorboards. <laughs> it's up. fucking them mahogany. Them that's mine. Give me that's their good couches. Lumber. That's good wood. There. That's oak. That's that's good stuff. That's oak. That's not yeah. cherry wood, right there. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Joe. I'm just kind of looking around in the uh, in the bar. Is there like a any place behind the bar or anywhere where I might find anybody who, like any money that somebody might have stashed back there, like a till or something? Like uh, that? the till's been cleared out. It looks like okay. the kind of the feel that you're getting through as you're going through a town. It looks like most people had some warning to leave. They packed they up. Packed and left. Up. They didn't just run yeah. out screaming. Gotcha. Yeah, all the stuff that you find left behind is like stuff that they just didn't load, which there's not a whole gotcha. lot of anything valuable. You find some random household things and some booze every so often, but that's about it. Booze is a good start. Booze, booze is right. where it's at. It's good. Am swag. I muted? I'm you're not. You're okay. not muted. I thought yeah. I was. But uh, you do so. Uh, don't find any people after you come through the town, Jake. Um, all right. And just kind of confirm the rest of what you've been seeing. Well, now Volo is sad. 
There's no right. one to rescue here. Nobody <laughs> to sing his praises. This is bullshit. I will play you a, sor- a sorrowful song. That's <laughs> unfortunate. Um, it will be played in a minor key. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you guys pack up for the night. Chuck makes his spider monstrosity and uh, maintains control <laughs> over Conrad. And uh, <laughs> it is nighttime. Uh, I think this is a good place for our next break and we'll pick up next session after the break with you guys setting out the next day. All right. Sounds good. So, so don't go anywhere. Yeah. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, We'll be a few minutes and when we come back, we'll continue their trek.